This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to be building a function from a picture of that function. Uh, so this is sort of the reverse of what you typically would experience in a normal algebra or graphing class. And uh, we're given several options for the function, so we have some clues for how this thing will change. Um, for example, we start out with, um, in the answer choice A, for example, Y equals X squared, which is sort of the simplest option of our answer choices. Let's actually take a look at um, Y equals X squared to get a sense for, for how that moves. I'm going to start out by thickening up these axes a little bit. And we're going to treat this as our origin the point zero, zero. Now, let's draw on here the function y equals x squared. Well, when x is zero, and I'll build a chart. When x is zero, y will be zero squared, which is zero. So this point is actually on our function if we're doing x equals, or y equals x squared. Now, when x is 1, y will then be 1 squared, which is 1. So this point, 1, 1, will also be on that function. Let's have, see what happens when x is 2, y becomes 2 squared, which is 4. And you start to see how this gets steeper. And we can connect these lines, sorry, connect these dots to make a steep arc. Right, and that's what that function is going to look like when y equals x squared. So we know that that's not right now because it's not overlapping with the function we were given. But let's talk about how to change the function we were given into the function that we have. We don't have time to discuss why each of these things is so, but I'm going to give you the basic rules you can use for building functions, and we'll talk about how those can be used to rebuild this. So, for example, um, let's go down to answer choice E. If you take um, your original function, y equals x squared, and you multiply the whole thing by 5, the effect that that have has is making things steeper. So instead of going to the point 1, 1, now we're going to go to the point 1, 5. So this would be a really steep parabola. And it'll still have the point zero, 0, so that's not what we want either. We actually don't want to make it steeper, so there should be nothing multiplied. And you'll see in choices B, C, and D, nothing is multiplied. But we do need to take this whole function and shift it over to the right. And we need to go over to the right one, two, three, four, five spots to the right. Now to shift things to the right, what you should do is start with your original function again. Uh, we started out with x squared. If you want to make the function move to the right, the answer is you subtract however many spaces you want to move it to the right. And this is something you simply need to memorize if you want to use the technique of building functions, which is what I recommend. So subtracting something moves it to the right. Um, so we want x minus 5 squared. And that's going to give us answer choice D, which will be the right answer. Now let's look at what happens in some of the other cases. Um, for example, in B. In B, if you actually were to add 5, so we get Y is X plus 5 squared, that has the impact of taking the function and shifting it to the left, which is not what we want. So B is out. Now what happens in answer choice C when we actually add 5, but it's not to, um, to the x variable. It's actually after x has been squared. So the function is y equals x squared, just as we had it, but then you just add 5 across the board. Well, that actually has the function of moving the whole function up. So it's, it's the same steepness, but it's been shifted up by 5. That's not what we want either, so answer choice C is out. As a nice little check, let's make sure that the new the function that we solved for has the same steepness. So 
this new point, if this is our origin, we should go over one and up one and be on the function. Because so that's what we did originally. We went over one and up one. And you can check it again. Do we go over one and up three for the next point? Over one and up three, yes. So this is the same steepness, which is another check that D is the right answer.